Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on using the Sidewinder missiles and the gun pod in the VSN F4. So let's get right to it. So first let's have a look at the controls we need. We'll go to weapons first. We need the gun trigger to fire the gun and weapon release to fire the Sidewinders. Then we go over here to sensors and we can use the radar if we like but it doesn't really matter so all these controls here that you have set up for the Sparrow missile well they're not really going to do a whole lot of good because apparently the radar doesn't actually slave the sidewinder to a lock it just is slave to the bore site so that's all we really need. So now let's have a look at our missile selector. And this may confuse some people, but the way this works is this is just a knob that turns and it has different positions. So you can turn it to select different weapon stations. So it also has a light system to tell you what stations are selected. It actually has seven lights. So we've got this one down here in the middle that is the all light and all of the lights for whatever stations still have missiles on them will light up when you have it in the all position otherwise these upper two lights are for the front two sparrow positions the middle lights are for the wing positions which can have either sparrows or sidewinders and the lower lights are for the rear sparrow positions so i'm going to unpause this and since sparrows have precedence over sidewinders with this mod when it comes to firing we have to use a little trick in order to get the sidewinders to work if we have sparrows on board if we don't have sparrows, we can just set it to all and it will go to sidewinders by default. But, if we do have sparrows on board, which we may very well, then we need to set it to one of the wing positions to fix that. So when I set it to the right wing position, you can kind of hear the tone. I'll turn it up a little bit, that war warbling tone. And I'm just going to turn the radar on now to hopefully help us find some of the targets that are out there for us to shoot at. Let's see if I can lock one of them up here. It's 11 miles away. Let's pile on some afterburner and go find it. Now, if I move this selector back to the Sparrow Station right here, the tone goes away and it's still gone if I move it to all because we still have sparrows on the jet. So I'm going to move it to the left weapon station and we can see that the tone comes back. And I'm using AIM-9L Sidewinders today because the AIM-9 Bravos are just so bad. The transport aircraft that we're dealing with here today probably won't give off enough of a heat signature for the AIM-9 Bravo to lock onto even from the rear. Only jets really do that. So now we just have to wait for the transport to show up. It's currently four miles away. And we will get a little indication up here on the HUD when, or the gun sight rather, this is not a heads up display by any measure, when we have a sidewinder lock. It's two miles away now, there he is, he's above us. And you can hear the tone and you see that little thing that just showed up on the side of the HUD, or the gun sight, that means we're good to fire Fox 2. And I'm surprised that one hit, but it did. 
Now let's talk about the gun. So in order to use the gun, we use the gun trigger, but first there's this little switch right here with the cover on it. And that is what we use to turn on the gun for firing. So I'm going to take active pause off. And the gun is actually already turned on. I'm going to turn it back on because I just turned it off. And as far as using the gun sight with the gun goes, the gun sight is very primitive, so I just like to point and shoot like old World War II aircraft. But one thing you do have to remember is that the gun shoots a bit low. So you can either manually depress the gun sight, or what I like to do is just leave it the way it is because the gun sight does have an air-to-air -air mode, but that causes the sight to move around a lot and it doesn't give you a good reference point for aiming. There's another transport aircraft, so let's go ahead and pull on to him. <clears throat> and I would fire a sidewinder here, but we're trying to use the gun, so... Whoa! And I just managed to spin the Phantom, but we did store some hits. So that is how to use the gun and the Sidewinder missiles in the F-4. Now I gotta eject before I black out, so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I really hope they fix the flight model because that's not really accurate. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.